Good morning, everyone. Welcome to worship this morning. If you have um, your sheep, you can get it now and you can place it in your sheep fold because Jesus, the good shepherd, welcomes you, each of you here this morning into this place. Well, if you remember last week, we um, taught a new greeting for Easter. Uh, you make a C with your hand and do Christ is risen. Although we forgot the Alleluia part, so we start with Alleluia. Alleluia, Christ is risen. And then you respond, Christ is risen indeed. Okay, so you want to try it together? We'll say, Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Well, this is a very special place here. I am still in my home underneath the Easter tent because it is still Easter tide. We have so many weeks of Easter that we get to celebrate together. And maybe you are at home under your Easter tent. If you haven't made one yet, that's okay. You still have lots of weeks. You can see on our calendar here. The cross, that white cross, is Easter, and I'm going to move it one more week, so one more Sunday. So you can see that we're still in the Easter season, all those white weeks, until we get to the red. Do you remember what the red is for? That's right, Pentecost, the day when the Holy Spirit was poured out. Well, Jesus is here with us. We've been greeted. We've uh, been under our Easter tent. And now it's time to uh, sing some songs. So if you want to pause the video here, we have a whole playlist of, of worship songs that hopefully you'll recognize that you can click on or you can sing your own song. But you can end always with be still and know that I am God. So I'm going to get set up for our story. You sing. Remember that Jesus died, but God made him alive again. Some of Jesus' friends saw the angel. Others ran to see the empty tomb, and Jesus called one of them by name. She knew the sound of his voice, and she saw him. Well, many of Jesus' friends wondered what had really happened. And two of Jesus' friends walked and they talked with a stranger on the road to Emmaus. They didn't know who the stranger was until he took some bread and he blessed it, broke it, and he offered it to them. And then they knew it was Jesus. Jesus was alive. Well, later, that same day, Jesus appeared to ten of his friends and his other followers.
And Jesus told them to look at his wounds, to touch him, watch him eat. They believed that Jesus was alive. But Thomas wasn't there. Well, during the following week, the other friends of Jesus came to Thomas and they said, We have seen the Lord. Thomas said, I won't believe Jesus is alive until I see him myself. I have to see and touch the marks on his hands made by the nails. I have to put my hand in the wound in his side. If I can do this, then I will believe. Well, a week later, all the friends of Jesus were together again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus stood in the middle of the room. Jesus said, Peace be with you. Then Jesus said to Thomas, Put your finger here, here, and see my hands. Reach out your hand and Put it by my side. Do not doubt, but believe. And Thomas answered, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen, and yet have believed. Well, I wonder a few things. I wonder how the disciples felt when Thomas wouldn't believe that they had seen Jesus. I wonder why Thomas wouldn't believe until he had actually seen Jesus. I wonder what it felt like to have Jesus appear in the room when all of the doors were locked. I wonder how Thomas felt when he first saw Jesus. I wonder if Jesus knew just what Thomas was thinking. I wonder what Jesus meant when he said, Blessed are they who have not seen but believe. I wonder if you believe that Jesus is alive. Well, I'm going to grab our candle here. And this candle reminds us that Jesus, the light, has come into the world. He's with us here. See it? Can you see the flame? Well, I 
as we go today, um, you can pass the peace of Christ around uh, to your family. And also, before we go, if you would like to have a response time, um, just like we do in class, I have a few ideas for you. First of all, maybe you received, hopefully, this a sheet like this or this in the mail. Or maybe this or this. Or maybe something like this. These are coloring sheets that you can color, and we're gonna, it's like a big puzzle piece. Once you color it and send it back to us, we'll put them all together and we'll make a really cool Easter shape. I wonder what it is. And also, since it's Easter tide, uh, if you would like to respond by Thinking maybe about all the things that are symbols of new life. Hmm. What are some things that are symbols of new life? Something new growing. Maybe like a baby. Maybe like an egg or a chick. Maybe a flower, a plant. I'll let you think of some more. I want you to think about all those things and then try to create some in your house using all the art supplies that you have. And then you can take some pictures of them and please show it to us. We'd love to see them. Before you go, I'm going to, to, to change the light. And the smoke here next to me, I can smell it reminds us that the Holy Spirit is with us here still.